Happy Saturday. The connections we have. Connections with other people. We don't have to, we have choices. We don't have to go through life isolating. The fear that we, that I have over the years encountered or confronted because I desire to connect and then I'm afraid to be vulnerable. But the connection, the vulnerability enhances the connection. You know, any type of emotional intimacy is the connection I'm talking about. Even if it's just, you know, you meet somebody, you know, at coffee and you have a connection. There's an emotional connection that's not quite physically tangible and you don't know why you connect so well with this person. It doesn't need to be romantic, it's just an emotional connection. And the amazing part of those emotional connections is when you can, when they, you know, I guess mutually lead to someplace physical and you have a physical, emotional connection that, that lasts for a partnership. But I've got a myriad more emotionally connected people in my life than, you know, a physical connection with someone I'm emotional connect, emotionally connected with. And the amazing part of staying emotionally connected to people over, if you're lucky enough, over years is they, you've got history, quality history, and trust, and love, and you know people, and they know you. I don't know. That's something that that's amazing for me, to me and for me. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a, you know enough you know a handful of people like that in my life that I can check in with and confirm my reality because my head will tell me some things at times that are completely false and untrue. My feelings aren't facts, and it helps for me to be emotionally connected to other people and they know the truth about what's going on in my life and what's going on in my head and they can help me decipher what is true and what is fear. That's truly, you know, the gift, the connection. Much love. Happy Saturday.